nobody knows anything about what the hell's going on with mountain lions out here. They don't. Mountain lions are out here, and that's all people know. They are so mysterious. People don't see them. They're like little cat yetis. Okay, take away that cat yeti thing. Brilliant. Cat safety is our, our most important priority. As the cat walks through here, he's gonna step here, 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 and it's too far a reach to go over there. So he's just gonna go right here and get caught in the stair. We've captured 25 adult and sub-adult mountain lions over the last 10 years. We've put GPS collars on, and then we've also caught four kittens. Yeah, he's plenty big. When a mountain lion is born, it'll stay with its mother and nurse for two months, and then stay with its mother for another year or so, learning to hunt. And then after about a year and a half to two years old, the mother will leave them. Then you have a sub-adult lion that has to find its own territory. The dispersing sub-adults that we've had, they've gone very long distances. We had one travel from the Davis Mountains almost to Big Bend National Park. The data from our collared adult mountain lions had an average of about 150 square miles for their home range, but we had up to a 400 square mile home range. Going in on a kill with a cat, present. I mean, it's a little nerve-wracking. Um, you can't help but just feel the, feel the eyes on you. So yeah, when you're going in on those fresh kill sites, knowing that it's still there, that it stealthily took down this full-grown deer, um, and it's watching you just the same. Yeah, my folks, I think, are more freaked out than I am about anything, um, but as they should be as parents should be. <laughs> Using these collars can find out what they're eating and what they're doing out here.
mountain lions are unregulated in terms of their harvest in Texas. They can be trapped, they can be shot. There aren't any limits on the number that you can kill or your methods of take with a sample size of 21 cats. Survival was about a 53% annual survival for the cats that we had collared. The biggest mystery to me is how this population continues to persist in the Davis Mountains. What is it? What's that mechanism that's keeping these animals um, still here, this population still around? Is it immigration from, you know, the south, from Mexico, Big Bend National Park? Is it immigration from the north? Is it isolated populations of high surviving females? Mountain lions symbolize mystery. They're mysterious, they're elusive, they're secretive, but they're amazing animals. This population in West Texas has remained here for centuries understanding how it's still here, making sure it continues to, be, to still be here. That's an important thing.